Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a perfume haul. I hauled a bunch of new and exciting fragrances. Some of them are not that new, but they're new to me. If you want to see what they are, then keep watching. Before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back and thank you so much for your continued support. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and activate that notification bell. Without further ado, Let's jump right into this haul. There were a few fragrances which were sent to me in PR and I'm gonna go through those first. This is Ylang and Gold and this was kindly gifted to me by M. Mikalev. And this is what the bottle looks like. I'm gonna insert a little video that I did of the unboxing of this fragrance. And I posted that on my Instagram page last week. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you like la 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 la. fragrance this is their limited edition bottle and it's absolutely stunning it's made out of stone this might be marble and it has the gold leafing the cap is gold their bottle craftsmanship is top notch all their bottles are hand painted handmade and they have the most luxurious unique stunning looking bottles this bottle is truly a masterpiece it's a work of art i'm gonna go ahead and read the notes to you first and then tell you what i think the top notes are peach, lychee, sage, tangerine, rosemary, artemisia, geranium, bitter orange. Middle notes are ylang ylang, sandalwood, mint, magnolia, rose, lily of the valley. These notes are vanilla, coconut, musk, and oak moss. I will go ahead and spray this. This is so stunning. This is a fruity, yellow floral, coconut, exotic, tropical fragrance. Right off the top, I get those fruity notes. They're very juicy. I get the peach. It's a juicy, ripe peach. I get the lychee. It gives this fragrance a really nice brightness, a freshness. It's like tonic and creamy with a hint of musk. And it smells very decadent, very exotic and warm. And I can really smell the high quality ingredients which were used in here. They're very well blended, very well done. This fragrance is an absolute masterpiece. I'm so beyond happy to have this one in my collection. I'm gonna wear this one so much during the summertime. Thank you, Emekala, for sending me this gem. Again, this is Elang in Gold. And Mikalef was also kind enough to send me two travel size samples. They come in these really nice leathery pouches. The first one I'm going to review for you is called Eden Falls. This is a really nice travel size. And this is one I can take with me when I'm going out of the house, when I'm traveling. I'm going to go ahead and read the notes to you. In the top notes, you get pink pepper, bergamot, and tangerine. Middle notes are coriander, jasmine, and neroli. Base notes are milk mousse, vanilla, musk, and patchouli. I'll spray some right there. It's so fresh, it's citrusy. It's a citrus, soft, spicy, aromatic vanilla. It's also woody and fresh with those citrus touches. This is a perfect one for summertime. They really captured the essence in this of being near a waterfalls, smelling all the greenness around you. I imagine there being a grassy field and there were waterfalls next to you and it's a summery, sunny type of day. This is so perfectly done. And again, high quality ingredients are used in this. I can smell them. It doesn't smell in any way synthetic at all. Such a stunning scent. And this is gender neutral. When I first smelled this one, I thought it was more masculine leaning. I put this one on my husband and it smelled even better on him. But I think anyone can rock this. My husband and I are gonna share this one for now but I have a feeling we're gonna get a full size sometime soon because it's just so intoxicating and addictive smelling. It has such a burst of joy to it. It brings me happiness, it brings a smile to my face. This is such a gem, you guys. Again, this is Eden Falls. In this pouch, I have a travel size of Nectar Ananda. And this is a more concentrated version of their Ananda fragrance if you have ever smelled that one. In the top notes, there's pear and plum. Middle is violet mimosa. Base notes are white musk and vanilla. 
I will spray some on the back of my hand. This is so gorgeous. This is an intoxicating scent. I get equal parts of pear and plum, so the plum doesn't come off too sweet. The pear is bright and crisp, and they work really beautifully together. They're juicy and slightly tangy fruits. They're not overly sweet, but there's some sweetness, which is really nice and bright. And this is another perfect summertime scent. This smells fresh, it smells delicate, it's a little musky, which gives it a sexiness. And then the violet starts to come through a little bit. And the vanilla is slightly sweetened. And then I get that heady mimosa. It's a gorgeous, well-balanced fragrance. I highly recommend trying all these. They are absolutely divine, stunning. And this is Nectar Ananda. And all of these are from the house of M. Mikalev. Thank you again, M. Mikalev for sending me these beautiful fragrances. I truly appreciate you. I also received a handwritten note from Martine Mikalev, which is such a nice personal touch. They are the nicest people and they make amazing perfumery. This next fragrance was sent to me in PR as well. It's from the house of Memoirs London. They just launched three new fragrances and they reached out to me and asked to choose one. And going by the notes, this is the one that I picked. This is called Magus. And this is an extrait de parfum. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a beautiful shade of purple and all the colors that they came out with are stunning. They also sent me samples of the other two, which I'm gonna go through after this. It has the gold plaque in the front and the cap is wooden. This is a really pretty bottle, different from anything that I own. This has top notes of cinnamon, mandarin orange, coriander, and cardamom. Middle notes are tonka bean, violet, tolo balsam, patchouli, and coconut. Base notes are benzoin, vanilla, amber, and musk. Right off the top, I get the cinnamon and it smells like a very natural cinnamon. This perfume house uses natural ingredients and I can really smell that. The cinnamon smells like a stick of cinnamon or the cinnamon powder. Coriander and cardamom are also coming through. This also has patchouli and coconut. This fragrance is warm, spicy, it's sweet, it's aromatic. It's an ambery vanilla fragrance with touches of coconut. This gives me some vibes of Ani by Nishane. If you were to take away the ginger from Ani and you were to replace it with cinnamon because this has cinnamon and it doesn't have that ginger note. So there are slight differences, but it does give me the vibe. They're not dupes. They're not exactly the same, but there are some similarities. They have a similar vanilla base. This also has that added touch of coconut, which makes it a little more interesting. Of course, this is its own fragrance, but this is just like a point of reference so you can get some kind of an idea of what this is. You guys, this is such a stunning vanilla. I strongly recommend getting your nose on this because if you like your vanilla scent, this is beautiful. I can definitely wear this one in the summertime because that coconut in there, even though it's not extremely prominent, does add some tropical vibe to it, but it's also very warm and comforting. So this will be great for all year round, pretty much. Winter, spring, fall, it's a great transitional fragrance. This is also gender neutral. Anybody can wear this. This is stunning. This will be making my top vanilla list when I come out with one in the future. I think this is one of the most beautiful, unique vanilla scents that I have tried in a long time. I know I referenced Ani, but like I said, this stands on its own. It has its own personality, its own uniqueness. The salsa has pretty good performance. After about one hour, it becomes a skin scent, but it stays on my skin all day long. I strongly recommend trying this, you guys. Again, this is Magus by Memoirs London. As I mentioned previously, they also sent me two samples of the two other fragrances they just released. So they have a total of three new releases. This one is called Eximus, and I will read the notes to you first. Top notes are pear blossom, saffron. Middle notes are sandalwood, Turkish rose, clove, and magnolia. Base is oud, patchouli, vanilla, and musk. 
right off the top, I smell that oud. It's a clean oud. Again, very natural ingredient. It smells very natural. There's nothing synthetic in this. It's a woody, warm, spicy rose with a patchouli and a woody base. As the scent is developing, I'm detecting more of a leather scent. I tried this on my skin and it starts to smell leathery. That's probably the combination of saffron and oud because I'm not a big fan of leather fragrances. I would pass on this one for myself, but those of you out there who love the smell of leather, this one might be right up your alley because it smells so natural, so pretty. Like I would love to smell this on someone else. I would enjoy this. I would enjoy this on my husband. This would probably smell amazing on him. This one is another gender neutral fragrance which could be worn by anyone and it's gonna smell amazing, especially if you like leather. And you do have to like some oud. This is not a dirty oud, like I said, it's not a super strong oud. It's somewhere like down the middle. This is not like a beginner friendly oud. You do have to be into your oud fragrances, but if you could get your nose on this and try a sample, I highly recommend. Again, this one is Eximus. This one is called Delicier. I'm gonna put names of these fragrances down below in the description box so you can reference it. Delicier has notes of pear blossom, saffron, Turkish rose, clove, magnolia, sandalwood, patchouli, oud, vanilla, and musks. When I first tried this fragrance on my skin, I thought it smells so familiar. I have smelled this somewhere before. And then I realized what this was. This fragrance smells like MFK's Oud Satin Mood, Mason Franz Kurtian's Oud Satin Mood. It's sweet, it has that rose. It smells divine. This is another great smelling fragrance. Thank you so much, Memoirs London, for sending me these gems. So that was it for my PR part of the haul. Now I'm gonna show you what I purchased. And I purchased this one from Twisted Lily. This is Mango Skin. I do have a 10% discount code from Twisted Lily, which I'm gonna put in the description box below. So you guys can use that when shopping on Twisted Lily. They do have a great selection of niche fragrances. So this is Mango Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery. And I have been wanting this one for a really long time. It comes in this really happy yellow packaging. I have been loving the house of Wilhelm Perfumery. I have two from the house, Pote of Berlin and Do Not Disturb, and I love both of those. I actually never sampled Mango Skin. This was a blind buy. I just had a good feeling about it. I love mangoes. Looking at the notes, I had a feeling I would like it. And this is what the bottle looks like. All their bottles look the same. They have the magnetic caps, which I really like. Top notes are blackberries, mango, black pepper. Middle, wild orris, black lotus, jasmine. Base is patchouli, vanilla, pink sugar, and wine. This is a tropical, floral, woody, sweet scent. It's so bright and fruity in the opening. I get equal parts of the blackberry and the mango. This fragrance develops and ripens on my skin. Those fruits get even more juicy and sweet. As it keeps drying down, the red wine note comes through and this starts to smell like a mango blackberry sangria. I have never had one of those. I just had the regular sangria, but you could put any fruit in it that you want. So if you were to put mango and blackberry, this is what it would smell like because I am getting that red wine that makes it smell sangria-like with fruits. And it smells so good. What I love about this is also, it doesn't smell fermented. I'm not getting black pepper in this at all. There's no spiciness that I'm detecting. It just smells really sweet, delicious. And as it develops, it gets even sweeter and the sweetness is coming from the fruits. It's as if these fruits are ripening right on my skin. And it just takes you on a journey. It's not a linear scent. It's very interesting and it's so delicious smelling. This is one that I will wear all through the summertime. This could be worn year round really, but I feel like summertime is a great one to wear this because you're not wearing too many clothes. This doesn't have the best performance. It projects on my skin for about an hour. After that, it becomes a skin scent. And I would say it stays on my skin for about 
three to four hours at most. I enjoy it so much while it's on me that I cannot even complain. It smells so good. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Such a stunning scent. I love my mango scents, and this one stands apart from other mango scents. This is very different from my other mango fragrances. This is so beautiful. If you guys haven't tried this one, see if you can get a sample. Try to get your nose on it. See how it wears on your skin and how you like it. Again, this is Mango Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery. The second fragrance I purchased from Twisted Lily is Sunset Hour by Goldfield & Banks. I have been curious about this one for some time. I have not tried anything from Goldfield & Banks in the past. This is my first one. And yeah, I heard good reviews about it. It opens up like this and I got the smaller size just because I didn't want to get a huge one since I wasn't sure how I would like it. I wasn't going to get a sample. I'm too impatient for samples. So I just get the smaller size. I like this bottle. It's pretty simplistic, but it's just really nice. I like the vibe. The color of the juice reminds me of a sunset. The notes are Kwandang, which is a native fruit to Australia. There's desert peach, raspberry, cashmere, wood sandalwood, jasmine sandbath, mandarin orange, pink pepper, benzoin, and ginger. This fragrance is citric and spicy. It has a juicy peach, which really comes through. And I also get the raspberry and it's bright, it's energizing, it's refreshing. This actually reminds me of another fragrance. I was trying to pinpoint what this reminds me of. This fragrance smells similar to Burberry Her EDT. It's not an exact dupe, but they have some similarities, especially on the dry down. It's really interesting. Yeah, the dry down gives me that Burberry Her EDT DNA. It's a bright, happy, refreshing scent. This one is perfect for summertime. This is not anything groundbreaking. This fragrance is very mass appealing. I don't find this to be a complex fragrance. It's pretty linear. If you don't want anything too complex, if you want to just smell good and fresh, this is one I will be wearing throughout the summer. And I just love the way it smells on me. I've been enjoying it so far and so far so good. This is another successful blind buy. Sunset Hour by Goldfield and Banks. So Twisted Lily was having a gift with a purchase deal going on and it was supposed to be the 15 mil. I received an email from Twisted Lily saying that they're out of the 15 mil and they will be sending me the 30 mil. So I ended up getting a full-size bottle of a third fragrance for free. That was just so nice of them. They didn't have to do that. They have superb customer service. The fragrance they sent me is Low Mixed by Nikolai Perfumer. And I have never tried anything from this house before. Look how pretty this box is. It has a magnetic clasp. It opens up like this. The bottle is so nice, you guys. It looks very luxe. I will read the notes to you first. This has top notes of grapefruit, cassis, mint, bergamot, Italian lemon. Middle notes are rose, jasmine, and spicy notes. And base notes are vetiver, oak moss, and musk. This is a very bright, citrusy, crisp scent. It's very green. It reminds me of a mojito, a virgin one, without the alcohol. It's fresh, it's spicy, it's earthy, it's woody. This is a great summer fresh sheet. Now to me, this leans masculine. I sprayed this on my husband, yet he's a good test subject for those masculine or gender neutral smelling fragrances to see how they smell. It smells so good on him. I told him that he can have this bottle. I am gifting this to him. This is his Father's Day present. Of course, he's gonna get more, but this is really nice. If you guys enjoy that very citrusy scent profile, you will really like this. I suggest getting a sample if the notes sound like something that you would like. I find this to be mass appealing. Again, this is Low Mix by Nikolai Perfumer. Okay guys, this is the last fragrance of this haul and I purchased this one from Fragrance X. This is Coco Vanille by Mansara. I have been wanting this fragrance for the longest time. I kept putting it off. It kept getting pushed back on my list. I kept putting it in and taking it out of the basket. Finally just bit the bullet and God, this comes in the Mansara pouch. This is what the bottle looks like. This is not a new fragrance. This has been out, I think, since 2007. This one is very hyped up here on YouTube. It has been, and 
I would say for a good reason. I haven't sampled this. This is another blind buy and I just knew. And when you know, you know. I just knew that this would be my baby. I'll read the notes first. The top notes have coconut, white peach. Middle notes are tiari flower, ylang ylang, jasmine. Base notes are Madagascar vanilla, white musk, and woody notes. So this is a twist off cap. The Manceras that I own are the newer Manceras. They all have the magnetic cap. This is a twist off. So I just have to get used to that because I keep trying to pull it off. Once I start spraying this, I get serious OCD and I can't stop. There is no stopping me. This is heavenly. Oh my gosh, this is so intoxicating. This is a scent profile that I love. This is a gourmand. You guys, this is equal parts vanilla and coconut. I wouldn't say that one is more prominent than the other, the two are there like 50 50 and they come through i get that beautiful tiare flower i get the ylang i do get a hint of that jasmine it's a very tropical smelling scent the vanilla and coconut are super creamy and sweet this is so addictive those lush tropical florals come through and it just adds to this whole composition it makes me think of a sweet coconut cream pie that's what it smells like to me. It smells very edible. It's gourmand. I get more of the gourmand aspect than I do the floral. The florals are there supporting it. They are like around the edges. They're not super prominent. And this just smells like a coconut cream pie. Very creamy, very delicious. When it comes to performance, this fragrance is a beast. This stays on my skin all day long, but of course I overspray it like crazy. I can smell this all day long. Even when I was wearing my other fragrances, I would come back to this to sniff it from the bottle. Yes, it's serious. I'm having a moment of full-blown love affair with coconut. That might be the reason. And I also love vanilla, so the two together are heavenly. If you haven't tried this and you love the scent profile, I highly recommend. Coco Vanille by Mancera. That completes my haul. Please let me know down in the comments below if you tried any of these. Do you have them? What have you hauled lately? I would love to know. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back here soon. Take care.